Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Cardis, and in today's video, I'm reviewing the limited edition Hercules playing cards. This is such a cool deck of cards, um, and I've been looking forward to reviewing it since I got it in New York. Now, a bit of information about this. This is a limited edition deck, and there was 2,500 printed, and there's obviously 56 cards, and the faces are on a white background, manufactured on basically B stock um, includes one gaff card and one special card um, three coloured um, foiling on the tuck case um, and obviously it's limited edition as I said printed in the US by the USPCC and it's got a custom number of seals just a bit of information about this deck now obviously among the uh, mythological creatures uh, you know the different gods this is uh, definitely one of them so on the front it has Hercules and it's got all the different foils as you can see you've got the red foil there and um, let's see if I can get this closer so you can actually see the really great detailing uh, on this deck so it actually has the red foil as you can see and then the gold foil it's just the foiling is absolutely amazing it has Hercules and you can see himself there in this nice ace of spades it's got the red foil the gold and the, the tints of silver there just absolutely stunning and it's got this embossing to it as well on the side as you can see it does have Gambler's Warehouse and then it has Dallas Texas and then on the other side it has uh, as you can see master finish designed in the USA and then it has this really nice detailing there and there now you get this custom seal with the actual number this was 2135 out of 2500 and then it shows this really nice intricate back design revealing the gold as well look at the gold on there really really nice and the blue tuck case really pops off it with it as well as you can see Pop a tab open and ta-da, like look at that. That is really, really nice. This, I like when companies do this where they actually have it printed on the inside. It makes it worthwhile. And then you have the aces there and there. We'll just get the cards out. Yeah, and you can see inside there, it does continue with this really nice um, design work. Now, the, this deck has white faces, which I think really works very well. This is the absolutely stunning back design. It has a white border, but as you can see, it goes out of the realms of the border. So obviously, if you're performing a fan, you actually get quite a really interesting looking fan. Um, so that's worth noting. Now, we'll have a look at the cards you get. So you first off get a King of Hearts. This is a King of Hearts, but on the other side is a Queen of Hearts there. And then you also get a double backer, so two very useful cards. You then get the other cards here, you get the Joker Joker, and you can see they are Zeus, uh, Hercules, sorry, uh, and he's just getting very happy, and you obviously folding his arms and stuff like that, and one's in red and one is in black with these really nice illustrations. You then get the Ace of Spades, look at that design there, it's obviously he's pulling the Ace apart, he's ripping the chains, the nice detailing, it's just very cool the way that they've presented this Ace, and in the far distance you'll see the little lines as well, so a little bit different. Throughout these you just get this really cool kind of custom pit placement, I love this kind of design in the actual putting all the pips in one, which I think is really cool, uh, and then you get to the royalty, the illustrations of these um, just look at that, the lion looks like he's mad, the three-headed snake looks a bit creepy to me. And then obviously you've got the uh, deer, or I think, I don't know what that's called, an antelope, I don't know. But yeah, really, really cool that you get all of these. You then get the diamonds, you can see the burgundy colour really works with this, with the frame that they've made. And the whole way through this custom pip placement, with these custom pips, with a nice swirl in the middle there. Same when you get to the royalty, you get these absolutely stunning, um, you've got a sheep pretty scary sheep and uh, apples there just really really nice illustrations just something that's a little bit different you then get the clubs as well look at that illustrations are mad uh, and then throughout without the clubs really really cool um, and then you can see there's the ace they're just nice nice ace actually you then get the hearts look at those the detailing is just immense with this deck and then the actual back to the hearts to the ace it's a really really cool deck of cards now printed by the USBC it's got a B stock as I said just a classic stock look at this it just handles amazingly and it looks great as well this deck reminds me of the empire playing cards it just one of those decks that come out and you're just thinking you know what damn how did they even think of this it's just the look of it it's just crazy and obviously what i like about it mostly is just the interesting design which is based on this now if you want to pick this up i will leave a link in the description below also check out my ebay page i will be putting more decks of cards on there that's just decks that i basically buy loads of just to save you guys money and then you guys can yeah buy them off me so there you go um also check out my instagram at the cardist uk and uh 
Hopefully I have got on the way the bicycle zigzag, so that review will be coming soon. Uh, I'm just waiting for those to uh, arrive in the post. So yes, this is a really cool deck. I highly recommend it. If you want to pick this up, it is worth it. I um, mean, obviously I will be reviewing the standard edition if you don't want to stump the cost on the limited edition, um, but I will be reviewing that very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you guys next one. Goodbye. Bye.